Today's video is sponsored by Ugreen and their 65 watt Diginess Cube. This is a nice looking seven in one charging station for your desk at home or at work. It looks really nice. It has two USB-C ports on the front, two USB-C A ports on the front as well here. And you have three ports going around the top and the sides as you can see right here. You can set it on your desk. You can charge your iPad Pro, your HomePods. You can charge your MacBook Pro and even power a display like the Apple Studio display that you see here. So check out Diginess 65 watt cube 7 in 1 charging station by Ugreen. All the links will be, of course, in the description down below. So, today we're talking about iOS 17.1, the next major update to iOS 17. And yes, Apple has yet to release iOS 17 as of the filming of this video, but Apple continues to test a new software before they even release the current one that's in beta. And 9 to 5 Mac has already seen evidence of traffic to their website from devices running iOS 17.1. And in today's video, video I want to talk about the top five features to expect with iOS 17.1 the next major update to iOS 17 after its release so let's go ahead and dive right into this video so the first thing I want to talk about is an app that Apple has already announced at WWDC and that is their brand new journal application that should be coming to the iPhone with iOS 17.1 now Apple showed us a quick preview of the application at WWDC but this app should be hitting our iPhones with a 17.1. Now, of course, as the name implies, this is a journal. You can log in your daily activities. You can track your location, share it with friends and family members, pictures, and all that sort of stuff. And of course, Apple will most likely tout a lot of privacy built in around this application, which is, in my opinion, the reason Apple is still working on the app, building a lot of the privacy features in order to get it right. You'll be able to log in your daily activities, where you're going, your pictures, your thoughts, and things like that. And you can share it again with friends and family family members and this is a journal so of course it is personal and private as well we'll most likely see this application being locked with face id features and things like that which i'm hoping to see but we'll have to wait and see the journal application should be hitting our devices with ios 17.1 now with ios 17 apple has added the tap to share where you can go ahead and share files by simply holding two iphones next to each other just like so you can share files images of course we also have name drop which is a new feature that allows you to share your personal information with others by tapping two iPhones together. However, there's one feature that's yet to be enabled, and that is the ability to share files over your cell network without having to be within airdrop range of another user. So if you're trying to share a video that's long and you don't want to stand next to the person while it sends, it will still be able to send over the cell network. And Apple has already updated their terms of service for airdrop, specifically mentioning that the photos and videos, website location, and information that you send via airdrop as now being filtered through Apple servers in order to encrypt it in order to protect this information while it's sending over to the cell network to the other device so you no longer will have to be with an airdrop range. So this is a new feature and enhancement we can expect with iOS 17.1 the ability to airdrop files without having to be with an airdrop range to another iPhone and I really like this new feature let me know what you think about this one. Now with iOS 17.1 Apple will most likely also bring updates to Apple Music specifically the Play playlist section. So Apple has been working on what's called a collaborative playlist. Now this of course will allow you to share a playlist with those around you. So if you have friends over, you want to have karaoke night, everyone can participate, add music to the queue and collaborate on one single playlist. Now this feature will most likely be available with iOS 17.1 alongside additional improvements to Apple Music, the ability to prop your iPhone up in front of the TV where you can see the lyrics and you can sing along and see yourself on the TV as well. So collaborative playlists and improvements to Apple Music will most likely be available within iOS 17.1. I'm actually looking forward to this feature here. Now, of course, we can't forget about the new emojis. Emoji version 15.1 will most likely make its way to the iPhone within the next couple of software updates. Now, one of my favorite emojis is the new Phoenix emoji. I'll leave a link down below to the list of all the emojis that will be available within future software updates for the iPhone, but I'm hoping to see the new emojis within iOS 17.1. And I would like to know your thoughts in those comments down below. Which one is your favorite new emoji? Mine is the new Phoenix emoji. Again, I'll leave a link down below. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. But yeah, new emojis will most likely make their way into iOS 17.1. Now, the last feature I want to talk about is something that Apple has made a no mention of but could be coming to the iPhone soon, and that is side loading the ability to install apps from anywhere on the internet. You no longer will be restricted to Apple's App Store. And again, Apple has made a no mention.
mention of this, but the current EU regulations is forcing Apple to enable this feature in 2024. So iOS 17.1 will most likely be released towards October, maybe late October or November, if history is any indication. So that puts Apple close to the deadline, and we may see a preview of side loading in iOS 17.1. Now, one rumor indicates that side loading will most likely only be a region based service or feature for iPhone users. So if your region does not require by law for Apple to enable this feature, Apple could be holding back. But in the EU, we'll most likely see the first glance at side loading with iOS 17.1. And again, for those of you that don't know, side loading will allow you to install apps from anywhere on the internet, just like you can on a computer. No longer will you have to download apps from the App Store. But Apple, again, makes no mention of this. iOS 17.1, as I mentioned, will most likely become available mid to late October. So Apple has a while to go before we see the first beta, but there's already evidence that Apple is working on 17.1. And these are the top five features and changes you can expect with the upcoming major update to iOS 17 after the official release of iOS 17. I just like to look into the future. I thought this video was fun. Let me know your thoughts in those comments down below. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.